Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Diablo 3. My name is Wilfred. I've been playing the season 11. Uh, this is my very, very first season to participate and I've managed to complete the entire journey and earn the Guardian kind of like a tier to it. So I'd like to share with you a little bit on my season journey just in case you are also new to the game and wondering now how can you accomplish everything you know set out for you. To me, it is about setting uh, personal goals and we'll get into it in just a bit. Now, why should you play season? There are a couple of, couple of good reasons to it. First of all, it is a fun new beginning and uh, you are being given some kind of like objective uh, to do. Uh, very much for you to learn the game as well, especially if you are new. I've done quite a few things while doing the season journey uh, on the crafting itself and just general gameplay and so on. Uh, you do not really need to have a lot of time uh, in, into the season if you are focused on your objective and make, and, and to focus on just one hero. Uh, I've played about uh, close to 60 hours, 57 hours uh, is my gameplay. And the... Uh, and I would like to just share with you how I come about doing that. Uh, now, first of all, why do you want to do season? Is that uh, first of, I mean, the, there's a pet, of course. You've got this like an emerald uh, serpent. Uh, it, rather easily, I mean, you know, you just need to complete the four four chapters initially, which is very very much like the beginner kind of like a tier. You get this one here. Uh, there are quite a number of portraits as well. Let me walk you through uh, how you're going to progress through the portrait. So once you completed your four. Uh, kind of um, you know uh, the, the the chapters you will get a basic portrait called the treasure goblin so it looks something like that one but as you get better um, you know once you get an, an, not another tier which is a slayer then you get a little bit different uh, you can see that you get a little bit of gold or bronze kind of color to it then the next tier is champion uh, that also is like a little bit more bronze to it actually I quite like the champion uh, kind of look as well and when you go up to destroyer interestingly it becomes silver and it kind of like you know this one looks like a little bit goldish kind of thing so i didn't quite like the uh, destroyer but yeah i mean you know it is a, it's the next tier now the tier that really matter is the um is the conqueror because you'll get a free stash i'll talk a little bit about that in just a bit uh, but this one compared to this one you get a whole nice gold kind of like a aura to it um, you know the interior with the leaves as well and ultimately if you are at the uh, guardian guardian kind of level then you've got like a little bit different here you see the the nice little orange kind of things around it uh, rather than you know the just the yellow one so this is the one that i'm using right now so uh, you've got a pet you've got all the portrait and you've got also a free stash now what i play for actually believe it or not i play for the portrait uh, it seems to me there's not some nice progression, something cosmetic to collect. Uh, the pet is alright. I mean, I've got quite a few other pets as well because I just started playing and I've been collecting it through the goblins. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the free stash is nice. Um, but, you know, in this game, in this sort of game, stash is never enough. Even you have one extra one. And uh, so the whole journey, if you take a look at that, um, you, ha you, can, you can take a look at all these things here. The, you know, each tier will reward you something like, for example, if you finish the chapter four, you've got the portrait, you've got the, you've got the, um, you know, the whole set of armor as well as a pet and stuff like that. Uh, and so on. The one that matter is Conqueror because that is where you can get the stash pace uh, here. Now, um, to talk about this one, I would like to just starting with the Guardian first because um, I always believe that whatever we do in life or in general, we start with an end in mind so that um, you, you, you kind of like visualize where your personal goal is and after that you define your stretch goal. Now, for example, for me, my person, personal goal was very low actually. I just wanted to do chapter 4 and after that I readjusted my goal to maybe do a slayer, get a, get a new portrait and then I got a stretch goal into say a stash space uh, as, a, as, a, as a destroyer or a conqueror and after that I say well you know since I'm already like reaching that goal maybe I should stretch my goal to the final one which is guardian so uh, it depends on how much time you have um, I spent about like I said before 57 hours to get to where I am um, if you don't really have that much hour of time, then you say maybe I just go until a certain tier, maybe a chapter 4, end of it, you get a pet and so on. It is really about defining your own goal, uh, not to get stressed up too much. Now, but why should you re uh, watch this video is that I would like to share some sort of like, uh, you know, tips along the way. And, you know, I, I realize that uh, it's all about efficiency in some sense. Of course, fun is important, but efficiency is important as well. So, you know, so long as you align certain objectives together, 
and by the way, you get this one and that one, why not? So that is why I'm what I would like to make this video. Now I've got another video on the, you know your starting journey as a Diablo three. Uh, if you are just started playing the game, started to sort of gear up and so on, that video should be very relevant to you because I share with you the tips in crafting, in what to do, what game mode to play, how to do certain things, this and that, and um, you know do check that one out as well. I put the link somewhere on top, uh, left or right. I can't can't really see from this angle. Um, so now. Uh, end in mind. So I always start with the end in mind. Now, the you know, in order to achieve a guardian, you need to do a couple of things here. Some of them are quite easy to do. Some of them are kind of like a little bit uh, tedious. So I like to walk through with you what you are in for. So at, in the event whereby you would like to go a little bit like you know, um, you know, up up to the guardian level. So the uh, finishers level seventy reef uh, on a T thirteen within four minutes. I think. Um, if you are geared, and by the way, since you know, if you are just just doing one hero, it's a lot of objective. By the way, um, will reward you, will be rewarded to you um, if your hero is strong. So I think in general, if you want to play a season, I would personally focus on one hero and making the hero super awesome, uh, rather than trying to, you know, couple of heroes and try to like you know get some other objective because. You know, if you look at all these objectives, it seems to me that you have got to be a little bit well geared in order to do something now. But of course, you can always join a group. Now, I've I've helped out friends. I met quite a number of you. Uh, asked me to sort of like you know accompany you try to do a T thirteen within four minutes, and we've done it. So um, so long as you have friends, it's fine. Like I always say in Diablo three, it helps a lot when you have friends. Uh, so with that in mind, then you like to build a network as well. Now what it really means is that um, you like to sort of like you know maybe uh, group up with someone. You know, have some friends, and then after that, progress with friends, play together, and this is the time whereby you know you have you can actually expand your network and get your things done a little bit easier. And that's what I mean with an end in mind, because if these are the things sort of thing you want to go after, you really, really would like to have some friends around you, or if you're well geared enough. I mean, you know, within four minutes, if the maps is right, if the map is like open area with the right kind of nemesis, kind of bracer to spawn. Uh, elite pet when you touch a shrine. Uh, if you got all these things aligned, then I think um, this is actually doable. But uh, it is towards the end of it. Uh, three legendary gems to seventy is not that trivial. Uh, you probably be need to do some greater rift like seventy five, quite a fair bit of them, or even eighty. Um, if you do it solo, it's a little bit hard. But if you team up with people who are also trying to level up the gems uh, at that region is actually rather easy. Uh, I wouldn't say easy, it's rather doable. Um, so I, I would recommend um, just making sure that you've, uh, you've got a strong hero, pairing up with someone so that you don't drag the whole thing down and both you can complete the, you know, at least a great uh, greater rift 75 or 80, then, then you'll get to this one here. Now three conquest this season, I'd like to talk a little bit about that. So I'm going to skip this one a little bit here. Uh, Q um, uh, Erziel at level 70 and under 20 seconds. Uh, T13, again, if you have friends to carry you, you can do it. But uh, I think this one is solo above as well, uh, so long as you are also geared. geared. The problem with uh, Uzerel is that uh, his animation is super long, so you probably have to just one, two shot, uh, three shot him to death if if you if you can just pop one of your you know very strong power to try to do it. But the problem is on animation; it cut things in half, so it really depends on what he, what build or you know, hero they are doing. But uh, with friends, it's actually quite doable. This one T uh, thirteen uh, solo a greater rift seventy is uh it's, it's a very interesting kind of like a goal because I think a lot of you, especially if you're new to Diablo 3, uh, you may be a little bit reluctant to push for Greater Rift. I, I don't, I, I, can, I can totally relate. I'm kind of new as well. And I can see that, you know, you, you keep dying inside, you keep penalized and not able to compete, uh, complete a, a Greater Rift can be frustrating. But uh, I, I think looking back, it is all about knowing the fight because each of the mobs will have a very special ability to one-shot you in some sense, either be it as a little bullet running around or something casts a fire on you or poison and whatnot. So um, once you get killed by a certain mob type, then you reflect upon yourself, could you have done better? Like for example, should you have moved around a little bit and stuff like that? Provided that your DPS is already good enough to, to sort of like, you know, kill all things, but you still die along the way to kind of like penalize with the time penalty, uh, then I would strongly suggest to reflect upon are there some mechanism you could actually 
just walk around it and don't get hit by you know going get one shot by the by the maiden somewhere far ahead or you know there's some punisher that would just leap onto you charge onto you things like that if you keep a lookout you can avoid quite a lot of death i think to me pushing for greater reef is about knowing the mechanic itself um the s 40 uh, legendary power is not that hard because you know basically just do a few bounties and you know a few rounds of bounty and you 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 you'll get it eventually now um before i go into a second tier the lower one let's talk about the uh, season kind of like a uh, requirement here the conquest is the one that usually people a little bit like uh um you know the the, the conquest is the one that uh, people get a little bit um you know don't, don't know which one to do or what to do with that uh, sometimes. Now, there are two types. One is the uh, soft core, one is the hard core. So, um, you know, each one of them is counted as one. I, my suggestion is that if you play hard core, you play hard core. If you play soft core, you play soft core. Um, I, don't want, I wouldn't kind of mix the two because, uh, you know, sometimes things are not that aligned, but it's really up to you. Um, for each season, they would select a couple of like a conquest that you could accomplish. You know, it's not something that you could do all of them and you get accomplished kind of thing. So, for example, uh, in this uh, in this season, things like you can earn fifty thousand gold streak, meaning that uh, you must keep looting until you get fifty million, sorry, fifty million gold, or you can kill boss uh, all the bosses, which is sixteen of them in Torment Ten uh, within twenty minutes. It's half kind of hard as well. I've got a video on that one, or you can just solo a Greater Rift seventy five. Uh, what other thing you can do in this season, for example, you can actually do a Speed Demon as well. Uh, you can complete a Netherland uh, Rift um, Torment Ten within two minutes a little bit hard if you are trying to do it solo if you try to group up with friends try to find an open map and then after that uh, try to teleport one of you teleport out to, uh, before the uh, guardian is, is dead so you can close the gate once you close the gate it registers the timer there but uh, this is one of them that i may want to do it one day i don't know uh it's 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 it's, it's you know it's kind of fun uh the other one is the master of the universe and you should uh you know you have to master eight of the following set dungeons as well now i am not really a very you know i, I i'm not really um you know into mastering the all the dungeon it's kind of interesting because i don't think i've done the inarius yet but i don't know why it's been checked here Hmm. So, um, so there are a couple of things you can do now. If you try to do the set dungeon wise, I mean, as you can see, each each class only have a number of sets. So, in order to do eight of them, you probably need to do more than one heroes. And like I said before, it's all about aligning your objective. If you like to push for higher rip and you know higher higher everything here and there, then it is um, it is um, you know to to me to me. You, you divided your attention and you may not be able to accomplish some of this objective within the time that you have so it is really up to you um, my my take is that uh, i've i've done the 75 solo first because i have a very clear objective i would like to push my character to be one of you know a, a good one um, so getting 70 is a prerequisite for the primal ancient so that's what i would like to do uh, 75 is just a few steps more i think i stretch it quite hard um, you know i i, I you know I didn't do it without gears um, or skill back then. So I, I, it took me a couple of attempts, but I, once I reach it, I reach it. I mean, it's one of these things, you know, you get it, you get it. Uh, so that was the first one I've done. Uh, boss mode is the one that I believe you probably have to have friends uh, to complete because, you know, one of my video before show you how we did boss mode with three runners and just another person in, 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 in town, my wife, just like, you know, monitoring everything. But, uh, you know, you basically have to split up and use the, uh, you know, the, 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 the town portal as a, as a means to save your progress as you run. And after that, go back to town and then go into a boss, kill the boss, teleport to town via the map mode and then after that uh, go back to your portal and continue your running progress so that is quite easily done i actually find this one rather hard um i wouldn't say hard but it's kind of tedious now to do this one you have a couple of options either a um you you do 10 sets of at 10 or 11 i think at 11 pro i'm sorry the uh torment 11 is probably a safer bet because torment 11 give you 1 million and 90 thousand gold per cash that you open so if you open 50 of them you'll naturally complete a uh, 50 thousand kind of like 50 million car go straight now the uh it's a lot of grinding you probably need to dedicate a stash space just to hold that 50. now your inventory will not be able to hold all 50 caches so how do you earn this one now first thing first i would strongly advise to i would actually advise you to re 
uh, unequip your pet, you do not want anything to pick up those uh, gold that you spawn off from the cache itself. Second of all is that uh, turn off anything that gives you a gold radius. Maybe you are doing, using a ring or whatever it is uh, that gives you the gold radius and whatnot. Just turn all these things off. Uh, if you have some gear that uh, increase the gold picked up by one yard, two yard, three yard, four yard, whatever it is, take that off as well. Basically, you do not wish to collect the gold until you have managed to open 50 caches. So how to do that? Uh, you have all the caches in your inventory, you open them all up. After that, uh, you stand beside the cache, so stash so that you do not need to move around. Then you transfer the rest of the, uh, the, the caches onto your inventory, open them up. And once all 50 of them are opened up, you just move and everything will be collected. All the gold, you hit the 50 million gold streak uh, at one shot. However, if that is not your cup of tea, you could do other things as well. For example, if you go to F4, F5 actually, uh, where the Adria is, is a ruins of Corvus. Now, ruin of Corvus is a very, very interesting place, a lot of like a door and corridor and whatnot. But what you need to do is that uh, you have to go into every single little inch. You walk by first, don't kill anything. You just walk past everywhere. Uh, because once once you are in a certain area, you trigger a lot of little mobs that will drop down from the ceiling, come up from the ground and come in from the window or whatever it is. So you just make sure that you spawn off all these things across the entire map. Get yourself familiarized with the layout of the map because you, you like to go, go by one loop. Um, you want to kill off every enemy and you want to pick all the gold up along the way until you hit 50 million uh, gold straight. I've done it like maybe 10 times. Uh, looking back, the good thing is that I've collected a lot of gold <laughs> along the way. Um, but uh, I realized that uh, knowing uh, knowing the map kind of like, you know, help a lot as well. The map layout, you know, if you spawn out nicely, it help a lot, a lot a lot as well so you start off with the waypoint you work yourself out open up every single inch of the map itself you may die a few times that's fine don't kill anything just yet then after that once you have reached the entrance to adria and assuming that you have already opened up everything that is your starting point you start killing you start picking up gold now the it, the prerequisite is that you must have, uh, I think I have it here, the boon of the hoarder ran 50. So basically you just run like, okay, the reef 60, you can just run it like, I don't know how many times, however number of times. You make sure that you get like a boon of the hoarder. To get this one, uh, make sure that uh, you join a group or you know have a puzzle ring. Uh, you can put the puzzle ring inside the, uh, inside the Kanai cube. And then after that, uh, the puzzle ring will then open a portal to the Valk. Uh, the Valk is where I believe, um, you know the 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 end boss will drop you one of the one of the uh, dam which is the uh, boon of the hoarder i believe so i don't know you guys check it out <laughs> and uh, so the, so that is one prerequisite you should have this one so every enemy kill will cause an explosion of gold which is nice uh, another thing i would like to recommend is uh, a virus uh, a virus band because it helps you to pick up the gold uh, without having to sort of like you know move around too much because your pet can then go by uh, you know, 30, 30 yard kind of thing increase. It's quite a big increase. Uh, it, it worked rather nicely, um, you know, to do, but to get this, this ring, you have to do a lot of bounty. Uh, the bounty is the one that inside the box, you get a chance of the ring, I believe. Uh, as for the, for, for this item wise, I mean, you know, I'm using Nemesis because that's how I farm the reef itself. But um, I think eventually I did a gold skin, if I'm not wrong, I did a gold, uh, I think gold skin. So a uh, chance, um, I think one of them, no, hang on, this one, is uh, I've got the Gladiator Gwalet. So after earning a Massacre bonus, go range from this guy. Now, uh, it is not really that essential, I would say, but because when you are doing that, that you may encounter some break uh, between the pack of mob. And uh, I don't mind having gold rain from the sky when that happens. I don't know how much gold it is, but it seems to me that when I pick this one, I, it works for me. Before that, I didn't have that one. So, uh, but you have to just play around. I do a torment 10. Now, torment 11 a little bit uh, slower. So when you kill slower, you do not pick up gold fast enough, then you may not uh, you know, have enough. I think T9 and below is just not enough gold. So I think T10 is the right spot. Uh, I think in everything in this game, T10 is the right spot. Um, so I hope you got some idea on to what are the things that you could look out for. Uh, if you want to do the need for speed, you need a group, group of friends and really, really do it. Uh, or you, you want to, um, you know, the set dungeon, if you haven't done it in your standard kind of thing, I have not, then you may want to do it. But I'm not a fan of the set dungeon. So now uh, with that said, uh, that is basically the, you know, the, the one, one big part of the, the, the video is to talk about what 
your end goal is. However, you say that if you say that, well, stash is what I need. So what do I need to do? Um, you have to complete a Nephilim Reef in uh, Tormen 13 within 5 minutes instead of 4 minutes because I think the Guardian is 4 minutes and 5 minutes. Sometimes, you know, when you group up, group, group up with friends, you get both at the same time. You know, you don't have to and you don't have to redo everything again. They will retrospectively remember what you have achieved even when you are doing a Conqueror tier. If you have done it within four minutes, it registered. That was in my case. Uh, three legendary gems to 55 is rather okay because you just need to do Reef to, um, to 60, 65. I think 65 is, is a nice spot. Group up, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, conquest is not an issue. I, think, I don't think this Sage Breaker Assault piece is an issue as well. Quite a long name for boss anyway. Uh, money in a Thun. Uh, I don't think it's also an issue. It's just that as you as you play, uh, you you go into go into the vault, and the vault is where they would drop the uh, boon of the hoarder, which is a legendary gem that will help you complete the uh, one of the conquest uh, if that's what um, you are looking for. Take you there, uh, reach greater reef sixty solo. Um, you know this is one of those things that uh, probably you need a little bit of gearing up and getting used to. Uh, it could be quite hard for a new player to start with. You know people say that. Greater Rift 60 or 70 is easy. Now, I have seen group, uh, I've, I've, I've done 75 myself, I've seen group at uh, 85. So as you get enough gear, it becomes easier. But I wouldn't, I think looking back, it was rather rough for me when I try to do a 60 solo, you know, but that's just me. I mean, people could say that 85 is easy when you've done 100, right? I mean, that's, that's really no big, no big deal, uh, what people say. But I think, I think this one needs a little bit of more practice on that. Uh, this one is interesting, man. This is a Kanai Cube to augment an ancient legendary gem with a 50 plus gem. Now, so what it really means is that it's the last page here. Now, before I do this season, I will ignore all these things. So this is the one that you can augment your ancient uh, to give you the uh, like. For example, if you look at my ancient here, there's one there's, there's one thing called Kaldan Sun's Desperate Rank Seventy. So I've sacrificed a Rank Seventy term to give me an extra three hundred and fifty intelligence, and it's kind of a nice thing. And now the hard thing, of course, is trying to get the uh, the, the 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 three of those like you know if I am an intelligence kind of like a. Play, uh, hero, I use a flawless royal topaz, and uh, otherwise, um, you know, if you are playing like Crusader or Barbarian or whatnot, then you can have the uh, flawless royal ruby for the strength and so on. I think this is live. I haven't tried this one. This is dexterity. So you could actually do that, but the problem is that the damn requirement is really high. Uh, if you have already committed putting all your gems into the uh, into your you know chest or whatever it is, uh, then you five gem gone. So how do you get all three of them? Now there's another recipe that will convert nine uh, gem into into um, into into one of the um, gem color that you want. So you can switch color now. The I've done something and I've made a mistake, so I'd like you all not to make the same mistake as I do. So now um, to to convert a gem color into into that you know the yellow one that you want, you can talk to uh, to this little girl here. Uh, there is actually things like essence of topaz. Of course, what it really means is that you can convert the uh, the gem that you have any any gem into into a topaz, which is my color. Now um, this one here very tricky. You can. You do, cannot apply common sense when you when you do this one. You have to be very specific. It must be nine gems of the same color. At first, I thought I can just put any gems inside and convert into the same thing. It doesn't work that way. It has to be any color, one 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 color type, nine of them. It has to be nine. It cannot be eight. It cannot be seven. It cannot be any, any number. It has got to be nine. And also, I realized that um, you I I have. Uh, you know, make a mistake because I thought I would then use the, like for example, I would like I would then try to get uh you know royal kind of flawless uh, kind of like purple into say into yellow. But the problem is that getting nine of this is really no joke. It's kind of impossible with the season so far. So what you should do is to get nine of the royal level, uh, convert them to yellow. And then after that, uh, you know, you can combine the nine yellow into three flawless yellow. So that's what you should do. Uh, use your use your royal tier to to change the color to yellow and then convert into flawless. Um, that's what I've done because uh, the augment augmentation is uh, is the one that is here. The augmentation, which is this one here, it takes on 
three of the flawless uh, royal kind of thing. So it gives you the you know intelligence. So you can actually see what it does though. By the way, so you know it kind of nice. You just move the mouse over all these things. All right. So I didn't know until this video. <laughs> Uh, interesting. Um, and the uh, the higher the term, of course, the better the uh, stats. So now, how high should your term be? Uh, depends on what you can do. So I have I have a friend. So we we run some with a riff like seventy five and managed to get a grade seventy uh, level seventy term to to just put it in there. But I think each one is five uh, five. Um, so each rank gives you five points in your intelligence or whatnot so you can judge for yourself is that extra 50 worth it for you to bring it to 70 to 80 or just say that well let's just start with what i have and after that i'll look after another tier another tier kind of thing it doesn't really matter at the end of the day you know it's all down to the gem level to us uh, convert the gem level into into your primary stat so how easy it is for you to convert that into that it is up to you but of course the course is a very expensive gem so you wouldn't want to just like you know anyhow upgrade your ancient uh, without without uh, thinking through you know maybe I've done my best and this is the best I've got so that is one thing here uh, where was I actually I've been too exciting uh, excited to talk about this one here um, so that is the one that you could do the term there um, okay so uh, the last one is just to reforge a legendary now this is actually super fun uh, I mean, I, I learned this one. I didn't know that you could do such thing as well. It's to reforge, um, re reforge a legendary. So reforging a legendary requires quite a fair bit of like a bounty material. But the good thing about it is that, um, say if you have got a slot, like, you know, one of the slot that doesn't, doesn't really look that fantastic, the, the, the kind of like, you know, you got second item drop and you say, well, I don't really want that all the stats and stuff like that. So what do you do? You go back to Blender, uh, have another go at it. And I realized that, uh, like, for example, what I've done is that I've got a compass rose uh, that I didn't have nice, nice rank to it. I dump it in first try. I get like ancient. Wow. So, you know, this one has a, has a, a possibility for you to get ancient. And I also think about now, I don't know whether it's the right approach or not, but I think out of all the gear itself, I found that uh, the, the one that's hard to get ancient is uh, would be say the ring and amulet and the weapon because those who cost quite a fair bit to gamble, uh, you can actually talk to Cadella um, over here and you gamble your stuff, right? So you can get 25 bloodshot, you can gamble any of those things or you can say that uh, you, you give a bit more like, you know, weapon 75 or ring is a 50 or 100, right? So you immediately you realize that actually amulet, ring and the, uh, and, and the weapons are not that hard, easy to come by, especially weapon. So I think that maybe if I didn't have an uh, ancient one-hander, I would actually um, you know, use this recipe to try to get my second. Uh, so I'll use one first, but the second one that I do not like the stat, I'll try to use uh, this approach to try to get an ancient on it because a weapon that's ancient, I think to me, makes a lot of difference. So that's just my approach. Something to think about, I mean, you no, know, many things to learn in this like a season kind of thing, but um, but that's really the uh, the conqueror level. And the uh, so now I am not going to go through too much of the rest because I think uh, the rest is basically the, you know, the, the, the sort of like natural progression. I don't think it is that hard for you to complete the rest of it. And I'm just scanning through it. I mean, you know, the, the only thing is about the, the Hellfire amulets that you could actually craft it using one of these, like, um, uh, one of these, um, you know, the, the recipe here, you can find it. And you can, you can have all these things that you collect in one of the, the other journey as well because in one of the, the other journey, you are required to kill this and that and this and that and all these things kind of like, you know, um, uh, help help you to get some of this like material, but I think I think you know there's a lot of learning experience. But I thought to give you some idea, if you have started a journey up to uh, four, which is not difficult, and if if you're looking upon further on to see what you can do on the on up to the stash level as well as beyond, I think um, that is the you know something. I hope this video is helpful to you. And as always, too, feel free to drop me a note here, and I kind of like always enjoy interacting with you. And thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoy your season as much as i do many of you ask me what i'm going to do after i've completed the season i didn't know that dragon actually played with the little green ball here kind of cute um i now that i've done it all and the uh and my 
what I'm going to do next, I will continue playing this season because anyhow, I mean, you know, my standard game is not that advanced anyway. And uh, I would also help my friends and my wife to try to get their season goal as well. So do count on me, uh, call me up if I can help, I'll help. I'll try to push my Necromancer to us as, uh, as far as possible because I really enjoy playing Necromancer. I spend like many, many hours playing uh, Necromancer already. I think, you know, I've played a lot of ARPG. Necromancer to me is probably one of the best um, kind of class design that I have. I know people don't like that it costs $15. Some of you may have boycotted the whole thing. But uh, to me, I think the uh, I, I've enjoyed a lot out from the $15. I mean, you know, I've, I've played the Inarius Malay build, which is very much like the beginner kind of thing because you could actually get away with quite a lot of like not knowing or not avoiding certain danger because you have the tank in front mitigating a lot of damage i've also tried this like uh you know pet build which is kind of glass cannon in some sense but uh, it's rather safe you have pets around you know doing things in front for you i will try the trago set which is very high risk high return you have to sort of like you know hunting for for elites where by the map knowledge kind of matters and uh, who knows i may play the pestilent kind of build no i don't know i don't think so anyhow uh, i'll see you next time goodbye